Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. You are learning with Dr. Shobha Nikam. In this video, we will talk about Euler's path and stick diagram for given Boolean function. So to start with, I have taken a simple example. Y is equals to A plus B into C. So first step is to draw CMOS based circuit, combinational logic using CMOS. Next step is to draw Euler's path based on that circuit and last step is to draw stick diagram for the given circuit. I have prepared separate video regarding implementation of or design of combinational circuit using MOSFETs. So I have explained everything about pull up network, pull down network, NMOS, PMOS, when to connect them in series, when to connect them in parallel. Here, to keep length of this video short, I'll simply tell you two rules. Two important rules are, we can implement any combinational circuit using either sum of product form or product of sum form. In both cases, what we need is addition operation and multiplication operation. So, very first rule is, when we implement multiplication operation, N channel MOSFETs are connected in series. And to implement addition operation, N channel MOSFETs are connected in parallel. When N MOS are in series, then P MOS are in parallel. And when N MOS are in parallel, then P MOS are in series. Next thing is P channel MOSFETs are always connected in pull up network and N channel MOSFETs are always connected in pull down network. So we will start with pull down network. So see here, my first thing is A plus B. So this is addition operation. So I will connect N channel MOSFETs in parallel. This is pull down network. So it is connected to VSS or ground. See, A and B are connected in parallel. Then this entire term is in multiplication with C. So we will connect C in series with this circuit. So this is our pull down network. Now let's start with pull up network. So here A, B are connected in parallel. So here we will connect A, B in series. For PMOS symbol is with bubble. So A and B are connected in series. And here C is in series with this whole circuit. So here I will connect C in parallel. This is pull up network. So I will connect it to VDD. So this is my pull up network. This is my pull down network. And we always get output here. At the center of pull up and pull down. So I will say this is my Y. So this is my pull up network which has 3 MOSFETs. A, B, C and in pull down also there are 3 MOSFETs. A, B and C. Now let's draw Euler's path. So first Euler's path is a graph that traverses every edge only once okay so first we will mark the nodes so here is first connection so i'll mark this node as one second connection is between these two mosfets so i'll mark this node as two then here is connection so this is three then another connection is here it is already marked as one here is next connection so i'll mark it as four then next connection is here. So I'll mark it as 5. So to draw Euler's path, I'll mark dots. So this is my first node. Then second node. Then here is third below. So I'll write 1, 2, 3. Below this 3, there is fourth node. And below that fourth node, there is a fifth node. Now see, one MOSFET is between 1 and 2, another MOSFET is between 2 and 3, C is between 1 and 
3. So, this is my A, this is my B, P channel MOSFET, this is my C. This is pull up network. In pull down network, I have C between 3 and 4 and A between 4 and 5 and B again between 4 and 5. So here you can see path can be C. This is C, A and this is B. So it can be C, then A and then B. See, it goes through these edges only once. It can go through these vertices many times. So same path should be followed in pull-up network. So see, current can flow. From C, A and B. So in this way we can draw Euler's path. Now let's see how to draw stick diagram. To draw stick diagram we must first mark the terminals of MOSFET. So here this is source terminal. This is also source terminal. Source goes to VDD. This is drain. This is drain. Here source. And this is drain. Similarly for N channel MOSFETs, source, drain, source, drain, this is source and this is drain. After that, here we need to draw VDD line and ground line. So we use metals for VDD and ground. So I will use blue color to represent it. So this is my VDD line. And here is my VSS or ground. Then in P channel MOSFET we use P diffusion. And to represent that P diffusion we use a yellow color. So I will draw this is my P diffusion. And to represent N diffusion for N channel MOSFET we use green color. Then in case of MOSFETs channel is uh, uh, made up of polysilicon material for that we use orange color or red color. So how many MOSFETs we have? We have 3 P channel MOSFETs A, B, C and 3 N channel MOSFETs A, B, C. So I will draw 3P MOS and 3N MOS. A, B and this is C. See, if you want to represent single transistor, you can represent it as, you can represent it as plus sign. So you can say this is my drain, this is my source and this is my gate terminal. So here this is my A this is my B and this is my C. See three transistors A, B, C, three P MOS and three N MOS and of course their gate terminals are shorted here. Same A is connected to P MOS and same A is connected to N MOS. So their gate terminals are shorted. Now Let's make other connections. Now see here. Drain of A and source of B are connected. So I will mark this as drain and this is source. So drain of A and source of B are connected. So if this is drain, so of course this is my source. Similarly, this is my source. So this will become drain. And here... Source of S is connected to VDD. It is nowhere connected. And drain of C is connected to drain of B. Drain of C is connected to drain of B. So this is source. Similarly, for N channel MOSFET, this is drain, source, source, drain, source and then 
drain. Now see here, source terminal of A, this is my APMOS. Source terminal of A is connected to VDD. So here it is connected. And to represent connections, we use this cross. Then these two are already connected. Drain of B and drain of C. So drain of B and drain of C are connected. And source of C is connected to VDD. Source of C, this is C. So it is connected to VDD. Then output is taken from drain of C and drain of B. So this is drain of C and drain of B. And from here we will take the output. So these are connections for pull up. Now let's see connections for pull down. This is my C. So drain of C. Here you can see drain of C MOSFET is connected to output Y. So this is my output Y. Here it is connected. So here what I will get? I will get output Y. So you can see output is taken from drain of C and drains of B and C. So here I will get output. Next connection is VSS. VSS is what? Source terminal of B and source terminal of A. So this is my A. This is my B. Their source terminals are shorted and I will connect it to VSS. Next, this connection is remaining. Source of C and drain of B. So source of C and drain of B is connected to drain of A. So this is drain of A. So in this way we can draw stick diagram. So this is Euler's path for this circuit and this is stick diagram of the circuit. So here are inputs A, B, C are inputs and here we will get output Y. So significance of this is Euler's path helps place CMOS transistors in a line to save space and make wiring easier. It connect transistors without breaks, making the layout smaller and faster. And in case of stick diagram, a stick diagram is a simple drawing showing how parts of a circuit connect. It uses colored lines for different layers like for metal, poly, diffusion and it helps plan the layout before making the real design, actual design. It's like a rough map of the chips layouts. So it was all about Euler's path and stick diagram. Thank you so much for watching.